There is one more thing that I want to show you, which is the Sculptris Pro. So let's select the, the body here. And you have this section called Sculptris Pro. And then you have this icon here and a bunch of things. They're currently grayed out because the Sculptris Pro doesn't work with the Move brush. So we need to choose a different brush. I'm gonna use the Snake Hook brush. So this one is telling you that this brush performed best with the Sculptris Pro is activated. So very convenient, that's exactly what we're trying to do. So I'm gonna click OK. So right now this becomes available, but it's still not, it's not activated. So let's turn on the Polyframe. I'm gonna get closer here with a larger brush size. I'm gonna click and drag and you see what this brush does. So it essentially pulls things like this and you can just create a bunch of really cool, interesting shapes, but it is also going to destroy the geometry. I mean, you can fix it. You can smooth this out and just redyna mesh again and smooth it out and all of that, right? So it can be fixed, but if you use the Sculptris Pro, that gets fixed without the need of redyna meshing anything. So I'm gonna enable Sculptris Pro, click on that one and enable it. As soon as this is activated, you'll notice that my cursor is now purple. Click and drag, and as I drag, you see ZBrush is dynamically creating topology. Again, it's just triangles because that's the easiest way to, to generate that topology. But I don't have to redynamesh every time. I can just keep adding things like this. And I can also smooth things out. And when I smooth, you see that the smooth brush is also like an orange color. That is because I can smooth and actually I can remove geometry. 